Hey TLDers, it's Marquez from the MKBHD channel and welcome to a brief overview slash preview video of the Ice Cream Sandwich and Galaxy Nexus announcement that just happened today. Huge thanks to Jonathan for letting me do this guest video by the way, really appreciate it, super awesome. Now I don't know how Google packed so much awesome into today, but they did, they really did. So I'm just gonna get right into it starting with the hardware. They introduced the Galaxy Nexus, which is the hardware of the device. It's gonna have a 4.65 inch 720p Super AMOLED HD display. It's gonna be running a 1.2 gigahertz dual core processor, has a gig of RAM, and will be 8.94 millimeters thin. This also will have LTE in some versions, and this is the first of the phones that are running Android 4.0 or Ice Cream Sandwich. ICS, as we'll call it, is completely badass. It totally overhauled the UI, and don't worry, the screen is big because it has the home, back, and multitasking buttons on the bottom instead of actual hardware buttons on the phone. So that's why you might think 4.65 inches is a little bit big for the screen. It's because there's software buttons there. The bezel is also gonna be really thin, so basically you're looking at just the screen. Gmail, YouTube, Maps, Music, Google+, and the Gallery have all been updated for Ice Cream Sandwich. Boom. They're all gonna have that handy little action bar at the bottom that all the Honeycomb apps had before. They're gonna be at the bottom of the screen instead of the stop like they were on tablets. There's also a handy dandy data usage monitor and offline Gmail search for up to 30 days into the past. Yes. The new camera though, holy crap. Seriously, it is grossly fast. Zero, we're talking zero shutter lag here. You tap the screen and there's immediately a photo taken. You could probably tap, 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 and just tap, tap, take photos just like that. It's really, really fast. You can also uh, take panorama shots with a built-in panorama mode by swinging the camera around and taking a really wide photo. It also integrates with Google Plus, so you can instantly upload those photos and share them if you want. And there's a built-in photo editor in the gallery. So if you've taken a photo and it's not really aligned properly, you can align it properly. There's some hipster color effects if you really like to go that way. And then there's the 1080p movie recording mode. You can actually take snapshots during the video recording to, you don't know, I don't know how those are gonna look, but uh, they're definitely a handy feature in case there's some crazy moment going on during the video that you wanna capture. Ice Cream Sandwich also has this new contacts app that they call a people app. It lets you see who you're connected to the most and lets you connect with them different ways. And it also has these really nice high resolution photos that it brings down from APIs like Facebook or Google+. Google Beam is this really new way of sharing. You can share apps, you can share locations, you can share movie times, you can share all kinds of things with Google Beam. With Near Field Communications or NFC, you can just tap the phones together, and uh, it's immediately transferred to the other phone. This only works with phones with NFC, but so far that list is kind of small. Hopefully it'll be getting bigger in the future. There's a new browser. I wouldn't say totally new, but it's kind of sick because you can have up to 16 tabs, and there's this, this pretty cool feature where you can sync bookmarks with your Chrome on your desktop with Chrome on your ice cream sandwich device. And there's also one more feature where you can enable the desktop version of a website Finally, I don't know why it took Google so long to implement that, the browser, but you can look at the desktop version of a site natively just by tapping two buttons and you're automatically there. There's also a face recognition unlock feature. So if someone else just looks at your phone, it won't unlock for them, but you have this enabled and it'll unlock it with your face. Now carriers of the Galaxy Nexus aren't really known yet, although we do know there's going to be a version with LTE. So that's pretty nice. I'm assuming that's the Verizon version. And the pricing of the Galaxy Nexus we also don't really know that, although we know there's going to be a 16 gig and a 32 gig version. And last but not least, the availability of this flagship Google device is just November for now. But, you know, hopefully they give us a date soon. Other than that, that's basically it. It's a pretty awesome new phone. It's a giant screen and it'll be pretty recognizable because it is so thin and it just has the Samsung form factor to it. But, uh, I'm looking forward to it. There will definitely be a review of it when it goes live uh, on my channel if you want to check out my videos, the MKBHD channel. Uh, but that is basically it. Thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully see you guys around. Peace.